Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's A Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 30th of October to the 5th of November 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So Spirit Animal Oracle, straight into it, you get number 15, Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. Love that. Brilliant. Never lose sight there. Somebody had these two together earlier, right at the beginning. Um, 52, Scarab Beetle Spirit, magic works through you. They came out in the other way though, but obviously this magic is working through you um, to bring these miracles towards you because they are endless. Love that. Brilliant. Capricorn. Let that magic work through you and shine. So 30th of October to the 5th of November 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Capricorn. What the heck? This is your own energy overall. The deceiver here may have connection to another Capricorn, but there is some sort of doubt that's um, sneaking in here, causing some sort of negative energy that you feel stuck to. Um, you've got these miracles that you're wanting to come to life. Um, this may be just a bit of a hiccup that's trying to tell you otherwise, but believing those miracles are endless. We will clarify everything shortly. Monday, the moon. May have connection to a Pisces here. When things are a bit darker and greyer, I do say that moon's shining brightly, giving you all the clarity you need to see clearly that these niggling doubts may just be that um, and not necessary. This is working together, creating that magic, working through you, but working together here to have that moon allow you to see um, that maybe I'm going to say, you're blowing things out of proportion. It's not as bad as it seems. Hopefully that is the case. Tuesday, Ace of Cups. New chapter when it comes to love. Could be a pregnancy, a birth, a marriage proposal, moving in together, maybe meeting somebody extremely brand new. Um, this Ace of Cups, I do believe it's love, love, but... Um, it may be a job you love, a home you love, but I say that because the next day on Wednesday you do have the Two of Cups. Love, love. Um, whether you know it or not, as I said, existing relationship, in which case I hope you know it, or somebody extremely brand new, somebody like a bolt out of the blue here. But um, it may be this whole miracles and this whole magic working through you to bring you somebody that you've actually had your eye on. Thursday, Princess of Wands. No, it's not. It's the Queen of Wands. Just to make sure. <laughs> um, confidence, determination. Princess of Wands is next, though. Um, confidence, determination to go after your dreams, after your goals. It's almost like the wand. I've got this. I am doing this. Nothing is holding me back. And that right there is conquering those fears. Love that. Brilliant. Now the Princess of Wands on Friday, Capricorn, very giving with your time, with your energy, very compassionate. If somebody needs help, you're there for them. This may be an addiction somebody's going through and you're needing to be there by their side for that, um, but ultimately empathetic. Love that. Saturday, Six of Cups, the past. Whether it's fond memories, whether it's not so fond memories, reconciliation around love, around work, around home. Some are like, okay, let's give this another go. Some are like, hell no, we're not going back there. And maybe this energy as well. But um, we'll clarify everything shortly. You finish on Sunday, Three of Wands. The bigger picture. Seeing a situation for what it really is. Someone for who they really are negative way a positive way it may even be as i said seeing that this is um not as bad as it seems overall for the week and you are able to see very clearly you've also got the good things here love i love love i'm a pisces um here but that moon is giving you all the clarity 
to see the big picture. Okay, so Capricorn, let's clarify everything, starting with the Deceiver. Overall for the week, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. May have connection to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All the swords, a lot of action being taken here to conquer those fears um, and to move forward to a different direction. Whether it's love, work, home, it's something you're not wanting everyone to know about, but when you do feel stuck at a crossroads because of those niggling doubts, I feel like that Queen of Swords is coming in. Very direct, very blunt, very upfront, and telling it like it is, and allowing then the um, energy to start moving in a direction away from that negative energy that's there. Monday, the moon. Ace of Wands, the Fool, Princess of Pentacles. You're ready to take a leap of faith here with some sort of new chapter. Again, it may be around love, around work, around home. Ace of Cups next may well be love, love here. Um, with this offer that is being made, you're ready to take a leap of faith in a different direction possibly. But um, again, that moon is giving you all the clarity you need to see very clearly that you can look before you leap. Ace of Cups, Tuesday. Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, the Tower. Keep an open mind, let the Tower moment happen and let everything out into the universe. That way the dust can settle and you are able to start this new journey, this new chapter with that solid foundation from the ground up. Keeping an open mind, what needs to be left behind, what needs to be taken with you. You're proud of how far you've come on this journey, but you are ready to release a lot of energy that just seems to be this negative baggage that's hanging on here. Two of Cups, Wednesday, Capricorn. The Lovers, just in case you didn't know there was love there. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. May have connection to a Gemini, soulmate, twin flame, definitely somebody significant here. As long as the communication is open, you're both on the same page, these miracles are endless, um, and who knows where the two of you can be. Queen of Wands clarifying into the Queen of Wands here on Thursday. Seven of Pentacles, Strength, and the Six of Cups. Again, it takes a lot of strength to deal with the past, even if it's fond memories, if it's not so fond memories, a lot of hard work, a lot of strength to take care of the past and allow yourself to just focus on where you are heading, those miracles you're wanting, the magic that you are working through you to leave that negative energy in the past and to focus on that journey ahead. We have connection to Leo there. Princess of Wands, Friday, Capricorn. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. We talked about if someone wants your help, that you're there to step up and be there for them. I think I did also say, make sure that if you need help, they are there to step up for you. I might not have said that on this reading. This is all about that equal give and take. Not that you're doing all the giving and the giving and the giving and someone else is doing all the taking. Success, it is at your fingertips here. It has been a bit of a rocky ride, but you are digging your heels in. You're determined to stay on board. Grab that success and run with it. Love that. Saturday, Six of Cups, Capricorn. Three of Cups, Five of Swords, a Knight of Swords. I feel this is a past you're not wanting to go back to. You've been getting one hell of a headache, just banging your head against a brick wall time and time again. And I feel like it's because you've tried to rush into something here that has caused this roadblock that you've just come to a sudden stop. Um, and saying that, some battles you do walk away from and that is your victory. And either way, your victory is there by celebrating. Whether you get together with friends and family, um, online or in person, that celebration is happening. That victory is happening. And I feel like this now allows you to open your eyes, see the bigger picture. With that Three of Wands on Sunday. 
Look at that. The world, ten of pentacles, seven of swords. Divine timing. There's been some tough life lessons along the way. Some deceptive energy, some gossip, some backstabbing. It is saying to still watch your back because I feel like there's jealousy where success. You've seemed to have done a 180 turn here um, from this negative energy. Your eyes are now open. You're able to see clearly what's ahead. Those miracles are endless and that success is yours to claim. It's your moment, but there may be a bit of jealousy involved trying to get you back into this energy back here. And you've got your eyes open to that. You're aware of that, which is the main thing there. Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what the universe says. King of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Maybe dealing with another Earth sign, another Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo here. A lot of Pentacles and ultimately that is the success for the hard work that you put in to get to your ultimate destination here. Um, that success, it may be very sudden, it may be like an overnight success, 0 to 360 in 5 seconds. Somebody's bringing an offer in here, maybe many hands like work what is it two heads are better than one it's an offer worth looking at to work together as a team as a partnership whether it's in love whether it's in work whether it's in home um, as that collaboration stepping up taking the lead putting some solid plans into place letting that magic work through you letting those miracles come to life and have that success right there for the taking love that so Taurus, let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. It's a short message I read from the book, but um, please bear with me. My contacts aren't very good. Let's throw this lot out. And um, the writing is very small. And I'm old, I say. My eyes, eyes aren't good. One card, please. Oh, not 20. <laughs> Right, Taurus. Love holds no grudges, forgive. This even could be around this past, it may be around this negative energy. But we will read that. Forgiveness is a gift of grace. It cannot be taken, demanded, or sold. It is something only you can offer. Connect with the love that you are. Free yourself from hurt that has claimed you in the past. If you are yet to forgive yourself for perceived mistakes, remember that learning is the journey you are here for. If you are yet to forgive others, ask whether carrying your pain still serves you. Love cannot sustain a grudge. Forgive and let go. Yeah, easier said than done, but... I feel like that's exactly what's happening overall with that deceiver energy, the two of swords, the six of swords, that queen of swords, taking action and you are moving forward. So Capricorn, many blessings to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.